Hello all you boys and girls, it's Michael again from MTG and more. This time we are going to take a good look at some gaming boards from Zetades, or better known as Noch for the train lovers among us. And we are going to look especially with uh, The Walking Dead in mind. Now I have seen a lot of Walking Dead gaming boards and I'm building one myself as well, which uh, video will be upcoming in a couple of days, weeks, months, do I know what, but I'm busy with it. In the meantime, I really needed to have a board and one of these boards would be something like that. This is one of the um, not really expensive game boards. Um, they come as a uh, standard primed canvas and you can do whatever you like with them, even keep them like this and it's still a decent board. So uh, what is this? This is a Zitterdes uh, MGT, which stands for Modular Gaming Board. And a modular gaming board is a vacuum formed piece of plastic, uh, which can be, how do you say it, reinforced with some uh, foam cubes so that it uh, doesn't bend down with a slight bend like you see right here. So um, yeah, let's, un well, there's not really a lot to unbox, but let's unbox one of these and uh, see where he can go. So what is in the package and everything. So let's take that one and let's take this one. There you go. This is how the package arrived. This is just one of them. I bought myself a lot because I, um, <laughs> I I really like the um, the feel and the look of them, and I don't mind really a lot that it's vacuum formed stuff. So uh, yeah, this is it. The package comes with a bag sealed. It comes with a piece of document. I really can't show it to you like this, so I have to open it just in a couple of seconds. I'll get back to that. It comes in a uh, well, just a plastic sleeve, and let's open it. So once again, this is the board. Just a straight up standard board. So um, yeah, there's nothing really to it. Unless you take a look at the bottom side. And that's what we're going to do right now. So hold on, I have to turn it around. It's a big board. So I need to do it off camera. Hold on. There you go. As you can see, this is a vacuum formed piece of plastic. And what was in the bag, was, as you can see right there, which gives you the Zitterdes logo. It gives you a couple of extra options they have. There's a couple more, but you will see that in a couple of days. Um, there are some really cool ones and, and, and some ones that aren't on the paper yet. Uh, but also in that package was the foam cubes I was talking about. What you should do with these is just glue them uh, into place where you want and then it uh, blocks the denting uh, while playing. Pretty good initiative and a pretty good thing. And also in the package were these things. Without those you say, well, you can put them right here. So they lock into place with another board. Especially with these ones, I think it's pretty cool that the uh, board can be lockable because when you, uh, hold on, just take it right here. When you turn this around again, you take this one and this one and you, for instance, want to have just a slightly bigger board, the thing you should do Take these brackets. And clip them into place. There you go. You have two of those and I believe per board there is about two of these. So as you can see right here, this is the denting I was talking about. You can uh, block that with just a foam cube. Um, in every board there is such a foam cube so it looks pretty awesome. If we continue uh, like this, of course you can make it in a whole uh, lot of different uh, things. So you can change this one, you can turn it 90 degrees so that this one locks into that. You can just turn it around so that uh, this street goes into there. 
And well, basically you can do the same with the other with the other turn, and you can lock as many uh, blocks as you want in them. These are 24 and a half centimeters wide, so it's a square. And that one, the 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 block there, is 24 to 60 right here. So it's basically a two foot by two foot. This makes it a two by four. <laughs> a two by four. Um, so let's take a good look on uh, how the miniatures look on the uh, look on the board and I'll give it for the unboxing and for the first time what we're going to do with it let's give it a good verdict so now that you have looked at the board um, seen some Walking Dead miniatures on them um, there is just one slight thing and uh, I also showed you in the pictures where you can see the two cars that's this one but there is little space in between that doesn't matter because you also have one-way roads so you can make one one-way road of it and uh, well basically saying my verdict is when you take it just straight out of the box it's a good playing area if you spend some time on it and you can have some uh, cool things like grass tufts which Citadel also sells, sells, and you are going to try to combine, uh, for instance, from there, and that's what I'm going to do, um, with some static grass, which locks into another static grass uh, field, then you will have the outdoor area, which uh, basically portrays Atlanta to uh, Dale's farm, when you're talking about The Walking Dead. And this is what uh, my opinion on these boards were for. So this means you have an awesome board, you're straight out of the bag, it's around the 30 euros. So you really can't go wrong with such a board. Uh, the only thing I have about to complain about these boards is that the road is just slightly too small for a two-way road. Is that a complaint? No, I don't think so. Is this a, a positive thing to think about the boards as a good way to get into the hobby when you want to have a good canvas on building your own boards. Yes, I think it's absolutely fabulous. And even if you don't do anything about it or just give it a good wash or do I know what, or dry brush, then you will go so much further than just, just a basic board. Then again, the board is 30 euros, so you can just choose whatever you like to do and, and, and see how you have it worked out. I think it's a great start for a great game if you want to have uh, not the card and uh, basically a gaming mat is about the same price so if you take this one you can build on it if you want to have a gaming mat well you can just roll it out and put it and store it in a good place or you can take it a little bit more conveniently than the uh, than, than a board like this so that's my verdict I think it's a cool board in the coming days I will show you some more uh, gaming boards I have I still have one with a river mount and I have one with a stone bridge and a grass field um, besides that, I am also going to combine uh, this side or the other side or the other side of the bridge um, into each other so I can use them just to combine them and make a bigger playing area because I'm really a big fan of The Walking Dead. So, see you next time in those videos. They will appear on the internet pretty soon and hope to see you soon. May the dice be forever in your favor. Thank you for watching, of course. Bye-bye. Hi, it's Mike and not Mike from MTG and more. Welcome to our channel and feel free to subscribe down below.